What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Lex Veltijs, and welcome to another episode of the Triton High Stakes Cash Games. This time, we're going to have short deck for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the No Limit Hold'em episodes as well. We are back here, Cash Games, sponsored by Les Ambassadeur. Here we see immediately some uh, regular faces. Mike June, awesome. Paul Poit, Mikita Bajikowski earlier in picture as well. So we are playing short deck this time. We see Jason Kuhn on the right. This should be a very fun table to watch. We're playing 3,000 anti, 6,000 anti. In short deck, of course, the whole table antis once. And the button puts in a double anti. This creates a lot of action. There's always a lot of money in the middle. Every round, very expensive to play. We see that these guys are approximately... 60 anties deep that that should make for a lot of action mm. already wang jun here very aggressive raising with nine six suited gonna get rid of it it's a be disciplined at the start there paul Poit takes up the first pot and of course, guys, just to in London, give you a little update of the rules. Unimaginably big yeah. cash oh, okay. game. We don't play with deuces, threes, fours, and fives. The ace counts as a five. Ace through nine is a straight. Flushes beat full houses as well. Equities run much different in this game. You'll see a lot of calling because people already have an ante in the pot. People will want to see flops. Because there's so many cards missing, it does mean that you have a bigger chance to hit something on the flop. Your cards will connect with the board more often. Very comparable to pot limit Omaha this game in terms of percentages to win hands. How to play, mm -hmm. when to slow play. Just read my hand. Kida has a blocker to the nut straight and the 7 8 straight. Getting old, man, these lights. Yesterday I thought Ike had an offsuit hand and he had a suited hand. Today I thought I had a pair of eights and I did not. I've got to chill out. I mean, you know, it's. It's good this situation to happen when you're like just limping, when you're not yeah, open yeah. jamming something, or like yeah. a three bed jamming, and then realizing you have an eight six offset. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that was precisely my hand, and I thought I had two eights. There was the oh, tension one as well. What is the cash out rule in this game, by the way? It's like 500. 500. Mike Jun gonna bump it up to 13,000. Small race. Wants to take uh, a little bit of control of, with the pot. Jax. Is it a call six in the race 13? Much less strong in this game than they are in No Limit Hold'em. Much more vulnerable. Even though I know most of you guys hate playing pocket jacks, it is still a very strong hand in No Limit Hold'em. Play more for set value in this uh, in this game, or in heads up pots you can play a little bit more decisive. It's very vulnerable. Check. Check. I see uh, Liu Ming with the best of it here. Bench one very feared in all big bet games. Short deck is his specialty, though. I can't wait to see what we're gonna be seeing from him. Perhaps the most feared short deck player in the world in cash games. Takes it down. Takes a stab. Not always certain that he has the best hand there, but it's very important to uh, to take pots down when you feel like a stab is going to work. People will always have a lot of equity, meaning a lot of chance to win on future streets. That's just the name of the game. 
And that is literally because the deck is so short. Turns and rivers will connect much more often with your opponent's hands than they would in No Limit Hold'em. Makes a huge difference. Oh. Good call, Makita. We see a Tenshuan on the button, suited connectors. Incredibly powerful. There it goes, Wang Jun lands under the gun. It's a very powerful move. He wants to pick up what's in the middle. It's 50,000 pounds for him to pick up in the middle. 9 8 is going to do very well. 9 8 would be a flip against Ace King, for instance. So that's a 50 50. If you think you know short deck just because of no limit hold them, think again. You have to readjust and kind of relearn what different hands mean and how strong they are. Then Chuan lays down the best hand. Really good move there by Wang Jun. Because people play so aggressive and because so many people will be calling, it's really common in this game to call an early position with big hands. By the way, I have very had the very same hand, two hands in a row, same suits. Are we playing with one deck? <laughs> Ace five. <laughs> no, I left this for a full deck. <laughs> you see as well, Jason Kuhn limping early with the ace jack suited. Doesn't want to blow up the pots. Playing out of position is a disaster in this game because the board changes so much and because turns and rivers hit hands so often. It's very important to have last okay. say, so you get all the information on your opponents. Way more so than a no limit hold them. The more dynamic a game is, the more important position is. Here we see Jason Kuhn flopping the best of it. Then she went with bottom pair. But there's lots of people to the flop. Four-handed. So he's gonna not feel too comfortable yet with this jack. So Liu Ming is betting here with a double gut shot. He can make a straight with a 6 or with a 10. It's also nice for him that he blocks the 8 in case somebody does have 10 8. And here you see quick fold by Jason Kuhn. And Liu Ming shows some uh, early aggression, which I really like to see. Picks up another pot. The speed with which these guys play makes you forget sometimes that this is actually a. 350,000 pounds buy in. As usual, we see a lot of limping from early positions. Think about it, you have 3,000 in antis in. There's 18,000 in the middle or so, 18 or 15, depending, you know, if you play six or uh, seven handed. And then on top of that comes a uh, button ante of 6,000. So you get seven to one, six to one on your first limb. Then knowing that you have a big chance to beat uh, really strong hands makes it uh, even more alluring to, uh, to call. Nikita gets sort of a gut shot. I think that if it was heads up to the flop, he definitely would have feels. Mm. If you want to compare draws between the different games, gut shots are a lot like the open-ended straight draws in No Limit Hold'em, and then open-ended draws are like straight flush draws in No Limit Hold'em. Draws are just much more powerful. Flushes are very uncommon, which is why a flush is ranked higher than a full house in this okay. game. Even saying it, I stumbled there because it's so ingrained in my mind <laughs> for 15 years that it's the other way around. Even players at the table forget sometimes, which happens very rarely because these guys play short deck a lot. All in. Here, Jason Kuhn. All out. Going all in. 207. 35 anties. 207. 
He takes it down. You're gonna see this a lot. A lot of time people will secure the positive position that they have with their hands. Don't want to see flops. A hand like pocket jack's incredibly uh, vulnerable. This also means that we're gonna see an insane amount of pre-flop all-ins. Big pots just happening by default. Which is just awesome, because it's just awesome to watch it transpire. Alright, so Jason Kuhn completes to the full anti. Bajakowski makes it five antis. And just a fall from Queen Jack offsets. This one is no good. Anyone want to blue yeah, one? Yeah, I'm not trying <laughs> that. Might still try a red one. Wang Jun putting a lot of stock in the, the lower suited hands. We saw him with 9-6 and 9-8. Made a big move with 9-8, no. but also open 9-6. Contemplating to call it a re-raise then. Now, again, aggression with the 8-6 suited. Just to give you a little bit of a comparison, Jack-6 offsuit is like the 7 deuce offsuit in this game. Okay, okay. And then 7-6 offsuit is like the 3 deuce offsuit. Very comparable hand strengths, so... Raising with 8-6 is quite aggressive. The best way to look at the anti-structure is to pretty much think the whole table is on a small blind and then the dealer is on a big blind. Wang Chun gets it down again with some aggression. Lots of uh, poker action going on in the room. We saw that last time too during the No Limit Hold'em Cash game with Tom Dwan. That's also on the YouTube channel. There was a PLO game going on the side. This was of course all recorded during the Triton Million in London in Mayfair in August 2019. Where the biggest poker tournament ever happened. Won by Aaron Shunu Zhang. This is just how sick these guys are. They go from playing 100, 200k tournaments, 1 million pound tournaments, to playing cash games on the side, sometimes waking up and just playing another tournament. These weeks are not the time to rest for these guys. It's when the action is hottest. Survival of the fittest. And Schwenk, good on the turn here. I feel super comfortable, but does have some showdown value, meaning that he's comfortable to take the hand to showdown and is going to win often enough. Forty-four thousand pounds in the middle. I'm gonna go for a value bet here. Straight draws miss, which is a a big thing in this game. Lots of people will continue from the flop with straight draws, good shots. So a hand like ace eight, ace nine. He does get the payoff. Good value bet there with Ten Schwen. Earns him a pot of ninety thousand pounds. Correctly assesses the situation. Thinks that a king would have either value bet the river or continued on the turn, meaning that his tens are gonna be good often enough. Get some value from his opponent. Well done there. Beautiful room here. We see a situation that's going to happen a lot. The cutoff versus the button. Very aggressive dynamic because the cutoff is an incredible price. Six or seven to one to just call and see a flop with a hand that's gonna do pretty well. You'll see uh, some good short deck players also kind of trap call from the cutoff. 
it's a new small versus big blind situation, but then with a lot more money uh, in the middle, fight for because of the big antis. Jason Kuhn, nice pick up there with 10 6 offsuits. And so I'm gonna call along. They said offsuits. Again, very weak hands, but. Get really good odds. Playing June again with the low suited cards gets it done. I like to see this kind of aggression. It's very fun to watch different playstyles in short deck. They've been playing this game almost a decade in Asia, Macau, Philippines, where it's really big. It's these guys' main game actually for the past uh, six, seven, eight years, and it's still cool that you see so many different styles. Jason Kuhn from the hijack. I'm gonna call along with the King Jack offsuit. Nikita with the Ace 10 offsuit. <laughs> Sets are a lot less powerful in this game compared to other games. Just because straights are so common and so powerful. Then if you hit a set and you are versus straight, you do really well in all ends, especially multi-way. So if your opponent has straight cards and you have three of a kind and all of a sudden there's a lot of cards in the deck that make you a full house or a running full house. Interesting spotter from Akita. The best thing he has going for his hand here is the fact that he blocks in that straight. And that he blocks two pairs that could call. So this is more of a equity protection. Lots of times in these situations players won't exactly know if they're bluffing. Or they're setting up a big river bluff. Or if they're value betting. It's all so marginal but it's still can be the case that a bet works for both situations. If you don't have the best hand with the 10 in your hand there and blocking uh, a lot of high two pairs, you can be setting up something really good for the river. Or you can have an emergency straight draw. And at the same time, if you are good and you're protecting your hand from equity, a bet works as well. So. Looming again, protecting a stop pair. Nicely done. It's down another one. Three uh, bet and take it's on the flop for him now. This cash game sponsored by Les Ambassadeurs in London. Legendary casino. limbs again Liu Ming again with the top pair let's see if he uh, is gonna go with the winning recipe that flop take it down it doesn't happen this often that you get in four situations where you can just bet the flop and take it down it's very relaxing easy does it we're going to see people fighting for lots of pots, and we're going to see a lot of big pots. This is my first time watching it, but I was for sure that we will have a lot of action in these cash games. But a few episodes for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the Nolan with Hold'em ones too. It's always a pleasure to see Tom Dwan play. I think anybody can agree with that.
I love the speed with which these guys play. It's just so fun to watch. It's very quick. Even in a game as complicated as a uh, short deck. You see Wang Jun with the best of hits. Both Dan Schwein and Jason Kuhn with middle pair. Wang Jun a big favorite here. Small bet by him. Neither player is going to like that card. This is a check by Wang Jun. Interesting to see if uh, Ten Xuan will be tempted to bet after that instant check. It's not spotted for weakness. Wang Jun going to go for a bet here. This is very marginal. He's correct. Bench one beats 10 8 and 10 9. Chops against Jack 10, Jack 9. Which would give him both two pair of Jacks and 7s with the ace kicker. Rock notably folds. I love this aggression that we're seeing from Wang Jun. Wang Jun provided us with one of the funniest things we've ever seen when he had aces in a short deck tournament in Jeju. Sipping on his iced tea, seeing that he would have turned, I believe it was trips. Very iconic moments on the tour. Liu Ming with the Stunner Shades. 10 9 and Jack 10 are incredibly powerful hands. His traits are so common. And. They can pretty much make all the straights, so you will see people go a very long way with a 9 Jack 10. We have Jason Kuhn with Ace 9. Kida with one of the worst hands in short deck, but not in this situation. Turns a better pair. Wang Chu going to be pretty comfortable taking this to the river. There it is, a straight for him. Twenty-four thousand in the middle. Nobody took a stab at it yet. I'm gonna be hoping somebody hero calls him here with two pair. Makes the bet. Jason gets out the way. Nikita gets out the way. You this guy, Yuan, ah, so mm? ah, ah, this guy, 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 Mini, 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 all in, mini, me, mini, 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 bag. <laughs> mini, bag. mini, 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 but much more vulnerable than in other games. Mini, mini, <laughs> Gonna raise it up to 18,000. Makes it a little bit bigger than he did with uh, his other hands. With the mini raise again. Huh? Leave the 6 8. Still a pretty small raise, three antis. And Liu Ming has a very bad hand, but he gets incredible odds. There's 33,000 in the pots, and he has to call 12. And I'm not even sure if they count his uh, 6,000 that he put on the button, if they count that toward the pot already. <laughs> yeah, gonna see a flop. Pass position. Position is key in this game. Jason? Just curious, are you working out in it when you're having a Triton stop, or are you just completely stopping? I've got one in. I've got one in the whole time I've been here. It's been so busy. Yeah, I mean, uh, there is just no time. Yeah, the one day I busted a tournament, I went straight to the gym. But other than that, I've been a mess. I haven't been eating that bad or anything. It's just play, 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 play. It's 
not a really big deal for me as I'm like working out only like two, three times a week at average, like home. But yeah. for you, I guess you're doing like five days a week or Brutal, something. Brutal, yeah. Yeah, it's a big change. Don't make us feel bad by asking Jason Kuhn about working out. Mini user. Mini user. That's a new strategy. Mini race. Mini race? 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 In Jeju cash game, I guess. The only thing we had the uh, Jack Six bounty, so he did it with Jack Six, like you know, to just not to limp to avoid the like multi way limp. Oh my race. god, that's so funny. It was fucking sneaky. Uh, it's strong. So Paul Plyer <laughs> flops the straight, has the nuts, of course ace counts as a 5 nuts, or an ace, to death. so high and low, same as it does in no limit hold them. Flops the straight, takes it slow, we have nobody that can give him a lot of action, there's all gut shots out there. And Xuan needs an 8, Liu Ming needs a 9. And a 10 for Wang Jun. Liu Ming and Wang Jun are actually the only ones that could beat the pots. Beat Paul out of the pot, rather. It's nice to have uh, Paul Paul back at the table. I was very excited to see him at the starting lineup. Always laughing, always in good spirits. Yes. Really fun to see him uh, play short deck as well. Oh, more stunner shades. <laughs> very stylish. Very strong hand here for uh, Jason Kuhn. Check nine suited. And Schwen, very tempted to go for a raise here. 400,000 pounds behind. He said something about a cash out rule at the start. We'll see if that happens and what it is when it happens. There might be some players that don't want to play uh, too deep in these games. VIPs decide what happens, so they make the rules. Jason Kung gets rid of Jack 9 suited there. With hands like this, I'm just kind of learning along as we go. Very interesting to see that he gets rid of that hand. All in. Mikita, good read, goes all in. Tenshwen, very aggro. And this is why short deck is such an insane game. 450,000 pounds like that in the middle. This was in a single race ball preflop. This is literally the only game in the world where a hands and pause like this happen and get out of control so quickly. If we see a call here, we see a pot of almost 900,000 pounds. And Schwen could be thinking, what if my opponent has jack 10, 10, 9? And just go all in with a lot of equity. That's a hand I do really well against because he dominates them with the higher kicker. He knows Makita is fearless. This would be a big call. 65 antis. Not uncommon in this game. You'll see people ripping a preflop for 100 antis sometimes. So they feel like their hand has an edge against their opponent's range. Gets rid of it though. Good for him. That would have been a tough one. I had a pretty one too, I can see. Yeah, that wasn't me. 
Yeah, that would have been a trip for uh, Makita, but don't be mistaken. Good shots are very strong in this game. Play big game. Ola, Ola. Ola, Ola. Ola. Yep. Jason Kuhn, Ola with Ace 9, under the gun. Has 30 antis. Yes. Ola, Ola. Lots of chips in the middle. Ola. Ola. <laughs> Wins 20,000 pounds. Yeah. Ola. Ola, Ola. No mini bet. How much was it actually? 190 or what? Well, this 170. Should have bring sunglasses. You want? I have another one. No, no, no. I'm good. Sunglasses only for tournaments. You know, because it's like. There was always a vibe about it, like everyone is looking serious, staring at each other, wearing yeah. sunglasses, Very covering serious. themselves. And when you play in a cash game, wow, you play loosey goosey. Who did a selfie with you? My fans. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Where? <laughs> no, this two days after the oh, now day. <laughs> every time, everybody, every time somebody's doing a selfie with me, I think they're just trying to steal my wallet. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, all right, let's do it. And then it's kind of like. Olio, <laughs> Olio. <laughs> Tench one here. Raising it up. Queens. 35. Oh. Makes it six antis. Oh, oh, oh. Has kings. Goes all in for 300,000 pounds. Yeah, Tench one with the insta call. Can't be folding these hands. And we have a 600,000 pound pot. Go, go. <laughs> One time, two time? One time, one time. Three to one, one favorite, Paul Pryor. Two time, two time. Oh, no two time. No two time. Oh, you guys are sick. No two time. Well, time. Just gonna run it once. Gamble, gamble. <laughs> just you like... One time, one time. Casual million dollar pot. Only one time. <laughs> just like, yeah, oh, one, one million... One million pounds pot, like, whatever. <laughs> Only one time. Only one time. Oh, king in the window. <laughs> You're never getting out completely. It's never over in short deck. It's always a ten or a jack every yeah. time. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's always a ten. There's jack. always a sweat to short deck. Every dot. <laughs> it's like so rigged. Yeah. All of a sudden now, 15% chance for Ten Shuan to come alongside. Still smiling. There it is. Oh. Oh. This the fucking short deck, huh? Typical Dude, classic so short deck. Go. Go. Yeah. Oh no, no, go. This game is so fucking brutal. Oh my god. That made me sick a little bit. Oh 623,000 pounds in that pot. Jesus. Going dead. I mean, it's just. How is it every time, man? It really does seem no, to happen no, every good. single time. No good, yes. Definitely no good. At least it's good for TV. Yeah. There you go. Thanks, Makita. Good looking out. Exactly what you want to hear after losing the 600,000 pound pods. Well, in Paul's case, it might be true. Paul, one of the founders of Triton, of course, together with Richard Young. Pretty much a home game for the Asian poker scene. Paul and Richard and her friends traveled the world, played amazing right. locations. Everything they make with Triton over organization goes to charity after yes. every year. It's incredible. Oh, I lied to you. It's exactly. Oh, yeah. I should risk call. Yes, call me. Please. Kings. This is cool. No. Another 30 yeah, empty shove. No, always king. I don't know why you all like to. Well, Chips up a little bit. Suited. I do like to go with Ace Nine suited, but I didn't have Ace Nine suited that time. Oh. Much you should better. keep it secret. That Your I secret hand. So it's my secret hand. I like to gamble. You with know, it. like in a full deck, everyone having the secret Ace Five hand. <laughs> Three Five of Hearts. What? Oh yeah, the, the Ace Five suited secret. 
Yes, you're right. I should keep it a secret a little <laughs> while longer. Yeah. Now you need to, to pick a new favorite hand since it's already on TV. <laughs> Jack or at least six. Yeah, or at least enjoy the time before it came to like <laughs> came to TV before they released it. Gosh, everybody knows about the Ace Nine now. Bench one limping under the gun, sitting no, at six hundred seventy thousand now. Opa, strong hand, Ace Queen. Tobi, Tobi. Another strong hand here. We have some uh, really strong hands going. Paul, you playing three million? I mean, three hundred? Maybe six thousand less or something. Okay, yeah. Popa reload. It's back to three hundred thousand now. Mikita Bajikowski, Ace King, and the cutoff. Big chance we might just see an all-in from him. Close to 70 anti, so so much in the middle already. All in. There he goes. All in. Tan Shuan, really tough position for him. It's quite some equity though. Lots of overcards are out, but... How much do I have? Uh, 225. Oh, isn't numbers, man. Incredibly skilled at math and calculations and doing it on the spots. Some crazy stories about him. Cool. Let's make the call. Oh. Are we allowed to go Jason, twice now? We'll call. I mean, Are we allowed to go twice, Paul? Are we allowed to go twice? No? Look at this. 44% for Jason Kuhn. 44%. One time. Suited. I like my Nobody dominates him. That's a huge spot for one time. You're gonna run it once. It's a fucking 900k pounds. <laughs> Not quite, but almost. 700,000 pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? <laughs> So crazy to just run this once. I like your side though, okay? I like your side. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> Jason's definitely a favorite. Oh, we have inside bet with Paul, so I like my side as well. Yes, yes. You get a little free roll. Yeah, there is a side pot of about 140,000 between Bajikowski and Poa. Man, I love this game. <laughs> yes. One time to punish them. Oh, I like the seven of clubs wow. in the door. And then I also like the ten and the nine. That's a great flop for Jason Kuhn, but ten or nine and just end it. don't count any hand out. We saw that last all in. Seven. Yeah, seven is a good no, one. No, seven is a good spot. For everyone. Ooh. Lots of chop outs possible yeah. now. Check, check, check. Ten or nine. Six. Actually, a jack will make a pop up win. Ten nine king. Six. Okay. Oh, That's a queen. Oh, Jason Queen wins. Really, everyone. Two, two, five. Two, two, five. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. Why you call? That's pretty rough for Makita. Now he loses the side pots to uh, Paul Poir. Under 40,000 pounds in that one or so. So. 25. Would have been nice to at least win that one. Makita loses 300,000 pounds this hand. Jason Kuhn goes from 230 to 700. Should have won a side pot at least. 50, 60. Oh, yeah, it's a bad beat for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. 69. Ah, fuck this side pot. It's too small anyway. <laughs> it's just 100k US. It's way too uh, small. 65, 69. Okay. And this is why these guys like playing with guys like Jason Kuhn and Makita because they can take a loss in a side pot just like that, smiling. Don't get mad. You know it's all in the game. I play 500. These games is just important that people just want to have fun. If you're not fun to play with, you're not going to get in these games. Uh, exactly 500, yes, exactly, exactly, I'm playing exactly 500. 3, 4, 40, 
480. Oh, my bad. Jason Kuhn goes to 500s, yeah. That was the full pot with 700s. Whatever. It's close enough. Uh, how much, uh, how much he play? Looming. She, she. Bumping it up to 35. Numbers are going in Jason's head. Makita offsuit, it's, even though flushes are rare, it's still a nice little extra taste on your hand if, if they're suited. That would be the nizzles for uh, Jason Kuhn. He can only lose the running jacks here. Remember, a flush beats a full house. Oh! Call. All in there from Liu Ming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a tough hand. That's a good flop yeah, for boy. Queen Jack as well. That's kind of a strong hand. It's a pretty nice. strong one. Jason plays massive pots back to back. 450,000 in the middle. That's it. No Jack or 8 will save Liu Ming. Jason Kuhn, what a rush. Tables have turned, but they can turn just as quickly. We see what can happen. Thank you. How long did they play yesterday? Till what time? They played full deck yesterday. Yeah, till what time? Didn't even know what was going on. Huh? Only long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, two time. I think they played 2K, 4K, a TV game. Oh. Yeah, I but I didn't even know about it. Tom called me and I was oh, okay. wasn't paying attention. No pro game. Yeah. Yeah, it was a no pro Only game. Tom. Only Tom. Only Tom allowed. He called me. Maybe he called me just to rub it in my face. How much do you have, Makita? Um, 125, 150, 180, a little less. Yeah. 155, 177. All in. Yep. All in. I got a big hand. So we only can do it once, right? Was, was, was. All right. All right, so all pretty much said there. Then it's They're going to run it once. It's a gamble. It's a big gamble. Let's go. Double up. I'm feeling hot. You know how short deck is. You get hot. Wow. You get hot, you stay hot. It's, it's still hard. good to fade. Yeah, yeah still 40% from Akita. It's still seven outs in this game, but yeah. I do feel like I can do it. No. Not this time. I don't want it on turn. I want it on river. Okay, seven. Yeah, like it. Nine is doesn't matter. But the river is coming. Just fun. give him an ace. <laughs> That's a good one. Not taking ace. I actually feel good for one of the few times. Oh ah, yeah. I was trying to block. I'm feeling terrible about it. Confidence. <laughs> How much? It's there. Um, one seventy, right? That's the best sound, of course, mm -hmm. going in. Try to count it so like that's uh, how do we both have those hands? So one fifty. And this game is crazy. I told you guys at the beginning that we were gonna see this. How is it even possible that we both have hands that strong? We're playing short deck. Short deck. Maybe it was actually nine plus deck. Yeah, There's no possibly. six, seven, eight. Sick. No. Oh, well, at least I got my sweat, you know? <laughs> there wasn't like a King King yeah. 5 flop, or King King 6 flop. That at least gave you some emotional roller coaster. Yeah, so. I got a little sweat out of it at least. Two, three. Paul, what is about the. Uh, Montenegro games, by the way, they never been released, right? Going soon, next week. Oh, I'm so shocked in a go. Bench one now, opening it up under the gun with a low suited connector. Just to touch on that last hand again, it's very interesting. Like I said before, the VIPs make I'm the rules. I'm really excited to see this dumb spot I played against Tony G. This was. Uh... 
That was really stupid to punch 400, like 500k in the very last hand. Oh no, that hand. We all know that hand by now. Massive pot. Mikita played against Tony G. Crazy swings in that game for Tony. Made an excellent call against Mikita. There was also an uh, exciting moment when I put it in against 10 and we and I had a flash draw on the turn, like flash draw plus some outs. We ran it twice and I hit the club, both, both rivers. Oh my god. <laughs> for a million US spots. Sick. <laughs> Slow down on the spoilers there, sir. All seen it, of course, all those episodes online at Triton YouTube channel as well. That uh, three way probably just played was about a million US. Six and eight, 820, 825 plus the antis. Like 850 pounds, that's about a million US, a little over. Not a small game we're playing. <laughs> yeah. It's not this special after so many two million Exa points. Exactly, already. it's like it's not even. Not, not even in not top even 20 biggest spots sense. of these games, yeah. Yeah. Doesn't even. Have Bench one. Go for small bets here. What oh, have thoughts? Excellent bets. Crushing, heads up. You in this specific it. situation oh, yeah. here. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm hoping for Mr. Liang to win. I like Mr. Liang. So oh, who's heads up? Our Chinese friend will come and play. Who is yeah. the heads up? Liang, 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 Liang you and, and David Benefield. Oh, okay. Liang Zhong and that guy Lao Wei. Xiao Yang is still in Dan Tiao. It's on the falls. Excellent better but then. Xiao Yang in Dan Tiao, he's going to Dan Tiao. 1800 against 1300. Who's going? Bono Mo. Oh, Xu Liang fell. Xu Liang fell early. Oh, Xu Liang fell early. That's the beauty of short deck. Everyone is winning sometimes. Bono Mo. Bono Mo, you can't win. You play long enough, you're going to win a tournament. You can't win. Bono Mo, you can't win. But Xiao Yang seems very tired. You see, he's going to die. He's going to die. Yes. Xiao Yang is a great champion. You can see. He's very calm. My wife's memory is still calm. Still calm. Wang Jun, again very aggressive from early position. 22,000. Does it with a wide range of hands and also varies his bet sizing. Possible to tell what he opens with. Which is another way to do it. Either you keep it the same. And you keep the same bets with all your different hands from the same positions, or you just do it randomly. Looming with the call, then Xuan with the monster. Fifty anti deep. Then makes a 122. Really hoping that. If somebody calls along, it's gonna be a hand like Jack 10, 10, 9 trying to peel a flop. I really like this play with Queens. I think if you go all in for for 50 anties a lot of the time, he might be up against Ace King, Aces Kings that open from under the gun. And now he might actually get uh, some people to just call and try and see a flop, but he makes it very sizable, so. Those are some really expensive looking sunglasses. I bet those cost a lot of money. <laughs> They're sweet. Oh, Liu Ming doesn't go for it. French one picks up another pot. Heads up is always taking really long in the so short deck. So long, tournament. it's crazy. Yeah, it's not it's like shorten the level. Next yeah, time. yeah, you need to like. Half, half an hour or something for heads up levels. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, heads up short deck. Four hundred. It'll take a long time. Minutes. Three hundred. Forty minutes. Heads up half an hour. Yeah. Maybe too much. No, it actually sounds pretty good. We'll find the sweet spot. It's just the unique scenario when the when it gets to heads up, the game's becoming like smaller, basically. Yeah. And the stacks are bigger. <laughs> much smaller. And much deeper. 
。对哦，呃，一个都没搞到。一百万呢，也是中国人哦，全部都是华人啊。All right, we see here. Liu Ming flops an overpair, coordinated boards as usual. Bench one with a very strong hand. Berna got shot. Got shot. Unlikely to hit though. Jason Kuhn has two jacks. Wang Jun with the worst of it. Bottom pair. I mean, out of all turns, that's one of the safest ones there is. You can make an argument that this one is even safer than the king. Even though only ace jack would get there, I guess. Jack now is already a straight. Liu Ming. I think it's just gonna do it here. And that concludes our first episode. Let's write the million from London. Short deck. Stay tuned for more episodes. I can't wait to see what the action is gonna bring. Thank you for watching. My name is Lex Veltuis, and I'll see you guys next time.